A mystery company will soon call the Piedmont Triad its new home. Tonight, Davidson County Commissioners approved the sale of 49 acres in Linwood, southwest of Lexington, to make way for a company codenamed Project Puma. Yeah, county leaders are staying pretty tight-lipped about what exactly this company is, but they did say it's going to bring 300 jobs to the region. Fox 8's Justin Lundy live in Davidson County, where the company's proposed facility would be built. All right, Justin, what else did you find out? Yeah, county leaders didn't reveal much information about Project Puma, Puma, but what we do know is that it has nothing to do with the clothing brand. It's going to be built right here at the I-85 Corporate Center, and with the Toyota battery plant and boom on the way to the triad, leaders tell me this is just the beginning. There's no other discussion. I guess the recommendation is that we approve. Is there a motion and second to approve the sale of the property? To Project Puma. A quick vote to sell 49 acres to a mysterious company during Monday night's Davidson County Board of Commissioners meeting. Is there anyone in the audience who wishes to speak either in favor of or in opposition to this request? No one in the crowd spoke up because commissioners provided little to no information about Project Puma. What they did say is that it would be located at the I-85 Corporate Center. Prior to Monday's meeting, the company had been negotiating with Rowan County. But those talks failed, so Davidson County lured them to do business. This isn't the only company headed to the triad, though. We know the Toyota battery plant and Boom Supersonic are on the way as well. According to Greensboro Chamber of Commerce President Brent Christensen, there's a lot more where that came from. These businesses would be providing component parts for the final assembly. In Toyota's case, final assembly of a battery. Um, so you may have battery casing, you may have other sorts of, uh, of parts that would come with that. With Boom, it's final assembly of an aircraft. Christensen says there's other businesses not directly linked to those companies we should also keep an eye out for. We'll also see new retail opportunities. We'll see increased um, demand for a number of goods and services throughout the region. The Davidson County attorney tells me for every acre they sold to Project Puma, it costed $50,000. And even though they didn't reveal much information on the company, they say they'll release more information in the coming days. But for now, reporting live in Davidson County, Justin Lundy, Fox 8 News. All right, we'll be watching and waiting. Justin, thank you.